Kenya's destiny will not be de derailed by its challenges. Well, President William Ruto has lauded the National Dialogue Committee for prioritizing the interests of the country even as it tries to resolve issues between the national government and the opposition. The head of state who spoke in parliament during his maiden state of the nation address said that political tolerance will accelerate the country's transformation, deepen democracy and entrench national unity as enshrined in the constitution. On Thursday, the National Dialogue Committee concluded deliberations of the bipartisan talks. Over the course of 73 days, the team co-chaired by the National Assembly Leader Majority Kimani Shungwa and Wiper Leader Kalonzo Musioka addressed all thematic areas identified at the onset of the talks and also considered emerging issues as presented by stakeholders during the negotiation period. The report that we shall be doing and uh, adopted the framework, draft framework uh, of the report we shall be now retreating. They had up to on or before the 26th of November 2023 to conclude talks before retreating to prepare a report to be shared by both the leadership of Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimiolo Moja One Kenya Coalition. In his State of the Nation address, President Ruto lauded the committee for a task well done. That has enabled our leaders to find common ground on many of the issues whose resolution will accelerate our transformation deepen our democracy and enhance national unity. The president further urged leaders to adopt dialogue, consensus, collaboration and partnership in place of dissent, contention, conflict and disarray as the operating principles of political discourse. For doing a wonderful job. Congratulations, gentlemen. I salute the courage and patriotism of my fellow leaders who have embraced national dialogue and engaged and encourage all of us to keep up the noble work of bringing Kenyans together. The technical team of the National Dialogue Committee will now retreat to prepare the final report that will be presented to the President. At the conclusion of his speech that took one hour, the head of state handed the speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate three reports as obligated by the law, namely... The 10th Annual Report on Measures Taken and Progress Made in the Realization of National Values and Principles and Governance and the 10th Annual Report on the Progress Made in Fulfilling the International Obligations of the Republic of Kenya and the 10th Annual Report on the State of National Security. That a lot of the successes we have achieved in delivering the bottom-up economic transformation agenda was due to the patriotic support and solidarity from members of this House. Regina Manyara reporting for Prime Edition.